Okay. Um, hello everyone. Welcome to a new video. Uh, in this video, mainly what we are going to do, we are going to look at the latest syllabus of Cape Gemini. And as you have, uh, as you know, the syllabus has changed quite a lot. So the Cape Gemini drive is only happening in a few colleges. However, uh, in future, they also tend to conduct an off-campus drive wherein all the people from all over India are eligible. Uh, make sure that you join Prep and Stars off-campus groups on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp and LinkedIn. The link to all of those would be provided in the description below. So that, you know, whenever Cape Gemini or any other company's drive happen, we would notify you. So let's begin uh, with understanding how Cape Gemini syllabus has changed. So uh, first, let's start to understand what is the pattern of or eligibility criteria of Cape Gemini, right? So first of all, uh, the branches that are eligible would be BE, BTEC and MCA. Mostly CSIT branches are eligible and some circuit uh, branches are also eligible. Uh, with those things, you would probably need to check a little more upon uh, with your placement cell because that depends college on college. Uh, the minimum criteria of uh, percentages in 10th and 12th is 60% and the same goes for graduation as well. Uh, you should have no active backlogs, that is one. And uh, there's only one year gap that is allowed in class 12th and then your college as well. Now, they are hiring for a role of uh, senior analyst wherein they would be paying you 3.8 lakhs per annum. Now, this may also vary college to college. So you may want to check this information with your college as well. Also, make sure that you do uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we'll be posting so many, so many different videos about different, different companies, uh, you know, syllabus videos and previous year papers solving all of those. Okay. So let's try to understand what was the old pattern first. And with that, we'll be covering the new pattern also, right? So the old pattern mainly has an analytical section wherein you had 32 questions, 16 questions were there from your uh, logical reasoning and 16 questions were there from your quantitative aptitude and the time was shared between them was total 40 minutes. And then the exam was conducted by CoCubes. Now this year also exam is definitely going to be conducted by CoCubes itself, now, right? Apart from that, you also had an essay writing round wherein you had to write an essay, the time given was 20 minutes and then you had a pseudocode round which wherein you had 20 questions. So I'll cover what uh, a little more about what pseudocode round is a little later later in the video and then they had a technical interview and an HR interview. Okay, so now in the new pattern, they have their uh, the first round being technical assessment pseudo code round wherein uh, you would be having 20 questions mostly and the time given to you would be 20 minutes. Now this may change because they have not officially announced uh, the number that number of questions and the timing but we are thinking that okay it will be 20 questions and 20 minutes itself then rather than the essay writing round which was there earlier they have uh, they are conducting an mcq based english communication test wherein you would be having mcq based questions i'll cover more about that a little later in the video now a new thing that they have introduced in this is game based aptitude test now this is what our main video focus would be on in the coming parts of the video Right. Now, you also have behavioral competency profiling, which is very, very important. We'll cover in depth about this section as well in the video. And then finally, you have technical and HR interview. Now, the time is unknown for all of them as of now. If somebody even tells you what is the timing, uh, they are probably faking, faking it off. So there's no timing as of now that nobody knows. They are. They, we also are partnered with different, different companies. We also kind of approached Cape Gemini for it as well. And they also are unsure as of now about the timing as well because CoCubes will conduct the round and those types of meeting haven't happened hasn't happened yet. Okay, so the next round here would be your pseudocode round. Now this round is an elimination round wherein first you will be required to give this round and only then if you clear this round, then you will be allowed to sit for the further round itself. So as I said, there would be 20 questions in 20 minutes. It is expected. Uh, what pseudocode essentially is, you will be given uh, code snippets based on C and C++ only. No Java, no Python, right? So some, some, some codes would be based on your object-oriented programming. Some code would be based on C, that is procedural programming. And then they would be giving you a pseudocode or a code snippet wherein you have to understand the code and then you have to predict the output. Now you will have four options. Out of those four options, you have to choose the correct answer, right? Now, a lot of these codes may also not be syntactically correct or the syntax may be incorrect. So you don't have to care about the syntax. Uh, 
Pseudo code is exactly like that. It's like a verbal communication of how code is represented, uh, represented, and then you have to predict the output. So if you find that okay, the syntax is wrong, the brackets are not closed, and all of those things, it is something that you should avoid, and then directly go ahead and mark the answer otherwise as well. Okay, so talking about the next round, which is MCQ based uh, English communication test, wherein it is an MCQ based type of test. You will have questions based upon. Uh, sentence completion, fill in the blanks, synonyms and antonyms, uh, correct spelling errors. Now, these would be based on, you know, uh, uh, using usage of adverbs, nouns, adjectives, articles, prepositions, subject verb agreement, uh, synonyms, antonyms, obviously, right? So all of these questions, not just for this round, just even for the previous pseudocode round, all of these questions are available on Prepinsta. The link to all of those dashboards would be provided in the in the description of this particular video. You, so you can check them out after this particular video, right? Now, this section is also a, an elimination round. That is only if you clear this section, then only you will go to the next round and will attempt the game based round. Now, uh, coming to the most important part, the part that you had been waiting for, the game based aptitude test. Now, before introducing this step, the, the, uh, this uh, section, remember there are 2 lakh people giving Capgemini test and approximately because of COVID-19 coronavirus, these all of those companies are hiring less. So we ex expect around Capgemini to hire approximately 10,000 students at max. Right. So you're competing with so many students and then with lesser number of opportunities. So you have to be very, very good. Now coming to game based aptitude test, there are 24 different games that are there as part of it. And randomly, the system will choose four different games for you. So your four games would be different for you. It would be different for your friend. Now, a few of the games that we uh, are telling in our free versions of videos are Grid Challenge, Motion Challenge, Switch Challenge and Digit Challenge. Uh, remember one thing, these are only the four ones. There are 24 different games that we are providing, right? Uh, the, that that would that would be asked in the online test, right? So now my team would also be showing the all the different games on how these are played and how these are not played, right? What are what are the correct way or what are the rules of playing these games? Because the point is you don't know how to how to play all of these games, so they will give you a like a thirty seconds introduction on how to play the game. Maybe if you don't understand it, then your whole section would be wrong and you will not go to the next round. So we highly recommend that, okay, all the games that are there, you should know what are these, right? And you should at least have solved each of the game at least, at least 10, 15 times, right? And there are different versions. So in our online classes or that is Prime Video and Prime Mock subscription of Cape Gemini, we provide all of these 24 games as well. There's a separate video for Cape Gemini app based uh, a Cape Gemini game based aptitude test that we have created wherein we are discussing a lot more and we are solving four different games here. Now, uh, essentially, you should be very good with mathematics. You should be very good with logical reasoning. So there's one game called as motion challenge wherein you have to swipe things left and right to make sure one ball reaches to the uh, other part of the uh, grid, right? In that case, now there may be multiple answers. So for example, you may solve that in <clears throat> six to seven steps, right? Or seven steps, but somebody who solves this within three steps gets higher marks, right? So your accuracy is very important. Then mainly you would be given approximately five to six minutes to solve each game. So, you know, uh, six into four, 24 minutes approximately, right? And then based upon each right answer that you give, the game levels up. So for example, whenever you play any game on Play Store or Android, right? So there's levels. So if you solve the previous level, level, you go to the next level wherein the game is more difficult, right? So that is the same thing that happens. So they check till which level did you reach? And if you reach that level, how, will, how much was your accuracy? Or in some cases, how many lesser number of steps or fewer steps you took to reach that particular level, right? So it is very, very important. Uh, there's very limited information about it as well. Even our team has decided to not to even disclose all the 24 games that are there for marketing reasons and for business reasons. Obviously, we have many, many employees. So we want you to purchase our prime video classes as well. I'm sorry about that. But there are four games. There's a separate video that we created for all of those. And I'm sure my team would be playing a video where you can see how all of those games are played. Right, so make sure that you watch that video as well.
so approximately four games for about 30 40 minutes i'm playing around and so with that you can understand all the rules and you will understand how important this part of this test is okay so the next section is also very very important which is basically called as behavioral competency profiling now it's a very good way to call it as a personality test right so it's basically a, a psychometric test that you generally get now a lot of people ignore the importance of psychometric test they are like okay psychometric test is very easy there are no wrong answers or right answers i just have to mark whatever kind of person that i am right so whenever you give an interview you try to fool the interviewer that okay you are very disciplined you are very this so people who are have given a uh, psychometric test know that these are very very important and in fact a lot of decision making at the high level profiles of different companies even at cxo levels these people are given psychometric test and based upon the results these people are hired or not right so in terms of cape gemini or co cubes there are totally six different parameters the first one is task style right so the first one is so they'll be asking you a lot of questions based upon which they will be trying to predict are you relaxed or focus are you a big picture person or a detail focus person then the second one here would be your adaptation style then uh, are you practical or are you abstract are you consistent or are you flexible are you doing or improving achievement style again there are a few parameters there then there is teamwork style that is independent versus team oriented stoic versus compa compassionate then emotional style passionate versus calm concerned versus hopeful insulated versus self awareness and then interaction style so now even being very very compassionate with your answers is wrong so the you may get rejected because you are very compassionate or you are very team oriented so you know you should know the trick to solving that in our online classes we have about 2 to 3 hours of videos just for your psychometric test and how to fool the psychometric test because it's an ai that is doing so what is the parameter based upon which the ai gives you marks so we we basically they tell you all of those details as well so it is very very important and it's the final round for your interview as well okay so if you have successfully cleared all the previous round then you finally have uh, are given a chance to give an interview but this time because of covid 19 the interviews would be online and then there is one new thing that their uh, that co cubes or eon has that is your interview would may not be taken by a real person you may be giving up uh, giving an interview to an ai now how that ai works essentially is you have to sit on a front of computer with a webcam and all of those things so this is how your hr interview would be taking for some colleges yes there would be an hr which would be taking on one or uh, one on one interview but for some colleges this ai would be taking your hr interview so it would an analyze your face gestures it would analyze your body posture it would convert whatever you are speaking into text format and would understand whatever you are saying into text and with the help of text and deep learning machine learning and ai they are able to predict with the correct questions that they ask you that are you compassionate with all the things that i showed you in the psychometric round they again can do it so i am sure that my my team would also be showing you some part of the same in our video as well so that you can identify how that particular thing would be working right so now this also is very very important apart from that after it if maybe for some cases one on one face to face interview with hr is there or maybe for some people there's an ai version of hr interview right then finally you will be having your technical interview which would be one on one person for the technical interview yes cape gemini is a service based company and it company so they don't care that you are from cs or it there are two profiles that are called as infra and non infra you can google more about it right uh, so they would be asking you a lot of questions from uh, your projects rdbm rdbms that is dbms c c++ your projects are very well uh, very important your resume is the most important thing so there is a separate video for resume as well in prep and stuff make sure that you watch that as well because your resume is the most important thing again i'm saying it right then uh you also have software engineering which is very important not just for computer science people but from people who are from circuit branches as well they don't care that you do not know coding they don't care that you do not 
uh, no software engineering they are hiring you for a software profile they expect you to know something that is you know very relevant for them that you can code you understand code you understand technology and your project should also be very 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 good with only projects you will be able to demonstrate that you are having that also certifications are very 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 important thing right so in we have something called as prep and star royal pass wherein you get all the online classes for different companies as well c c plus plus python and java certifications are also provided to you and even data science as a certification machine learning as a certification is also going to be launched this month right so i'd recommend that if you do not have certification you join prep and stars nano degrees or you join prep and stars uh, royal pass with that everything that is there on prep and star you will get it right so this is pretty much about your uh, interview round as well make sure that you have certifications make sure that you have projects if you do not have certification immediately after watching this video think about getting certifications right you can go to coursera or all of these websites wherein the price is too much however but at prepenster the price is generally student friendly because as you know we are the most visited website for placements right so last people more number of people buy courses from us so we can reduce the price a little further and we kind of try to keep our prices a little more student friendly so that you know these are affordable as well right so that's pretty much about the interview section so how do you prepare for the test so again the test is given by so many people which is why i recommend that you get an edge you join prep and stars prime video course for cape gemini so in the course we cover the whole thing all the 24 uh, game based aptitude tests we are covering so it's very very important for you to know the games the rules of the games because you know even when i was playing all of those games i was like okay let's play the game but then i was like okay i read the rules but i have forgotten it while i was playing it now i can't go back and the see the rules again so we have a separate video about rules of four games but there are 24 different games so you make sure that you join all of those so that you get an idea of how exams is going to be right because that is very important pseudo code is again a very different and difficult round so with our prime video course for cape gemini you get all the online classes for pseudo code you we uh all the previous year papers for procedural c and object oriented programming that is c++ you get uh a lot of those questions are you know on the similar pattern of how the exam would be right uh then your english mcq test is also taken care of with along with the cape gemini we also give you a complete 50 hours additionally so apart the online classes of approximately 50 60 hours are, are already there but apart from that 50 to 60 hours of c and c++ videos are additionally provided to you why because keep gemini asks pseudo code and pseudo for for you to solve pseudo code you need to know the whole c and c++ language as well so we'll also give you certifications in in c and c++ because those courses are also included so you can show that but c c++ certifications i would say get better certifications in uh, python or data science and all of those which are there in royal pass right then uh, with the interview uh, that is you know your behavior, uh, behavioral competency test that is psychometric test that is also there for the written part of it as well and also for the interview video profiling round as well so everything is covered in a prime video course uh, we are offering a lot of discounts also so it may change which is i'm not saying the exact number uh, there would be some coupon code displayed uh, probably you can check that in the description of the video and you can find it uh, the classes would have already started uh, we are already providing a lot of colleges all our online classes for cape gemini the partner colleges so if in case your college is also interested so they can contact us in that case because in that case bulk students uh, buy our courses so we give reduced prices in that case right so that's pretty much about it uh, there's also prime mock course so if you do not want the online course you just want to practice all the puzzles so there are 300 different puzzles questions that you get with the online courses as practice material if you do not want the videos and just want those practice materials uh, those uh, game based questions those and pseudo code questions those behavioral competency questions and english questions you can buy prep and star prime mock course as well for cape gemini which is different so that's pretty much about it um, at the very end of the video i'll tell you that okay be very motivated about this the 
राउंड और द केप जिमनाई टेस्ट इज वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू बिकॉज ऑफ कोरोना वायरस ऑल ऑफ दीज कंपनीज आर हायरिंग वेरी लेस सो इट वुड बी यू नो मोस्टली स्टूडेंट्स मेक वेरी अ मिस्टेक दैट इज वेरी रॉन्ग दे स्पेंड लैक्स एंड लैक्स ऑफ रुपीज ऑन देयर कॉलेज डिग्री एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट कॉलेज डिग्री दे आर नॉट गेटिंग द जॉब एंड अ कोर्स दैट गिव्स देम अ जॉब और अ स्किल दैट गिव्स देम अ जॉब they do not pay for certifications they do not pay for these online classes and then once all the opportunities are gone then they do it and then they realize their mistakes so be a early adopter do not make the mistakes a person's knowledge is what you will be valued for so get enough knowledge be prepared for all these competitive exams and all the very best if you have any questions you can all always ask us in the comment section of this video and our team would definitely get back to you in the uh, in the comment section as well make sure that you subscribe to our channel and also cape gemini hiring would also be there for different colleges which are not partnered with cape gemini off campus drive would be there so we'll post all of those details whenever that drive happens or whenever any other company drive happens so goldman sachs happens just recently cisco happened just recently flipkart happened just recently so we posted on our social media channels that is uh, facebook uh, linkedin uh, your twitter uh telegram and uh, so you know i would recommend you to join whatsapp telegram linkedin and uh instagram so these are the four primary channel make sure that you join all of them link would be provided in the description of the video thank you guys uh if you like the video please make sure that you hit the bell icon and the like button and make sure that you subscribe to our channel thank you